Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some websites that have very flexible work from home jobs that you can do online. The first one is eWord Solutions, which is a company that hires for transcriptionists. If they are hiring, you can see up here in the top of the page that it says transcriptionist hiring. Click that and that will take you to the page where you can actually um, apply and see what they require. They require a 60 word per minute typing speed, which you can uh, check at typingtest.com. And you can also look at the, uh, the residency here. You need to be in the US and you need to be good with Microsoft Word as well as pass a background check. You can fill out this form here click send and that's how you apply and for transcription work basically all you're doing is turning audio into text you listen to an interview you listen to some sort of uh, podcast episode or video and then you type out who's saying what and complete sentences another one that you can do is textbroker.com which is basically a um, it's a place where you can write as kind of a freelance writer or an independent contractor and uh, you get paid by the uh, articles that you write and the amount of words you write so uh, you have all kinds of clients you could write for all kinds of different subjects people get here to uh, hire people to write articles for their blog or their business website or something like that so you uh, basically just get paid to write so when you go to I write content at the top, that's where you uh, sign up as a writer. And uh, the other people, of course, sign up at I need content. They're the ones that pay for the writing. So you have free registration and uh, of course they pay you and they have writing resources. Just click this blue button to get started and you can create your account. Sign me up as an author and then go through this uh, form here to sign up. And another thing you can do is go to Lionbridge, which uh, you can go to the smartcrowd.com, which is actually a branch of Lionbridge. And if you go there to the smartcrowd.com slash workers, you can see different job opportunities that they have. So um, if you were to go to say to just lionbridge.com on their home page I'll show you how to get there all you got to do is go down to uh, go down to where you can actually uh, join their team where it says join our team you can also do that at the top of the page as well go to testers raiders and curators click learn more and I'll take you to the smart crowd which is just a branch so this is also international uh, you do not have to be just in the U.S. You can be in any of the countries you see here in these drop-down bars. And they usually have uh, jobs available for pretty much any of these at any given time. So you can go to, say, uh, the United States, just as an example. And you notice that they have six uh, work-from-home jobs available right now. All these are usually going to be part-time with very flexible hours and usually you just help search engines improve or you help social media improve you have things that have to do with um, whether the ads are relevant to search results whether the search results are high quality whether they're related to the query that you typed in and uh, basically those are the types of things you would be doing for uh, these different types of jobs they all are fairly similar they just have small variances Another website you can go to is 3playmedia.com and 3play Media has both uh, in-house jobs in Boston and they also have transcript editor jobs that you can do as kind of an independent contractor. So what you can do is uh, when you go to their jobs section up there at the top, you can end up on this page here. Just go to transcript editor jobs. And then you can see uh, what they have available for contract work. So you can be an English or a Spanish transcript editor. Those are both current openings right now here in 2019 for 3Play Media. So if you were to click on, say, the English transcript editor, 
Um, basically, what you need is 75 word per minute typing speed, internet research skills, things like that, certain computer requirements. You can test your internet speed at speedtest.net. You obviously work remotely. You can make up to $30 per hour depending on your efficiency. And of course, uh, transcriptionists are basically people who turn audio into text. You may also be an editor of transcriptions to uh, get rid of obviously like the, uh, the imperfections of a transcript af after it's been written. So 3 play media for that kind of work. Fancy hands is another one for um, virtual assistant work, which a virtual assistant does a lot of data entry work. And uh, you can do basically scheduling emails and those types of things. So uh, pretty easy work. Usually a virtual assistant might be someone who's just uh, pretty good with the internet, pretty good at different internet programs, pretty good with the Microsoft Office suite, and uh, just can uh, do the tedious tasks that uh, most people just are more uh, higher level CEOs and entrepreneurs and stuff just don't have time to do themselves. So like you could go to jobs there under company at the bottom left, you'll end up on this page and then you click apply for an assistant position. You can read more about it. Again, you'll make phone calls on behalf of them, schedule appointments, data entry, those types of things. Click apply now to get started and uh, you get paid per task. Another one that you can do is called Live Ops. And this is like a work from home call center type of thing. So if you want to do uh, phone work, this is a great one out there for you. Customer support and sales are typically what they do. You can go to join.liveops.com to uh, see what they have available and then click apply now up there in the top right. And then you can see what they have available. You can see that they have a uh, few customer service and a few operations jobs in the U.S. available right now. And uh, so here's an example of what one of these looks like as a uh, as like a virtual uh, call center customer service worker. So they break down everything for you that you need to know. Of course, uh, minimum of you know, 15, 20, or 25 hours a week. Typically, you're going to be an independent contractor and work part-time. But uh, a lot of times, you get a pretty flexible schedule. You'll need a USB headset and, uh, you know, probably have to pass a background check and, you know, have some sort of experience with maybe customer support or sales. That would help a lot. Another thing you can do is micro-tasking, which is usually data entry-based you can go to a site like clickworker.com and clickworker does support more than one country you do not have to just be in the US but if you go to uh, clickworker.com you can uh, basically just sign up here as a uh, quick worker so you see it says like quick worker job requirements all that stuff that you need to know right there and then you can sign up right here on this by clicking this blue button. But again, you're doing mostly stuff that has to do with um, data entry and categorizing things, taking surveys and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what ClickWorker does. Another one is Scribby, which is another transcription site where you basically get paid to type. And you can go here and they pay you up to $25 per audio hour US. And these are home based, of course, and you turn audio into text, just like the other transcription jobs I mentioned. There's no need for me to really just keep explaining that. But um, they do pay you via PayPal. The process is right here. Uh, you do the transcription, it's reviewed, proofread and then they do a quality check and then you know of course they get it to the clients so apply now by clicking that blue button and then you can log in with paypal and all of that and apply there another thing you can do is uh freelance writing and a lot of jobs are always available at a uh, place called problogger.com you can go to problogger.com jobs they have contract full-time part-time and freelance work available all the time pretty much most of these allow you to work from anywhere in telecommute and they're for a lot of um, 
big and small businesses. So like Inquisitor, obviously, is a big brand. And uh, I think I've seen sites like Bustle on here maybe a few times. And then you have smaller businesses as well. So um, whichever one you want to do, you know, here's just an example of what one of these application pages look like. Usually you can apply directly on the uh, page here. And uh, you just scroll to the bottom and fill out the form and submit it. So here's what it looks like. I'll tell you whether there are benefits, you know, a lot of times they'll include everything you need to know right here on this page. And then you can apply by clicking that little uh, gray button right there. You can also go to a site called Mod Squad, which is online moderation um, as a job. And, you know, you may think of like a subreddit moderator. If you're someone who is an active user of Reddit, that might be you know, I, I think they're more like volunteers. I'm not really sure if they get paid much for that, but Mod Squad is where you're actually like a professional moderator. You uh, make sure people are following the rules of a forum or social media group or something like that or a website. And, uh, you know, you help people with certain uh, questions and help them kind of like customer support, but also kind of enforce rules and. Uh, things like that. So modsquad.com is where you can go. And uh, you can scroll down to the bottom where it says join the mods on the bottom right. And that is where you can go to uh, sign up as a mod squad uh, member. So you click start here, that red button right there. Then you'll go and you can apply by filling out this form. You do need to be 18 years of age or older. And then last but not least is a website called Rev, which is a really good one because they have multiple options for you. You can go to rev.com and Rev has uh, captions, subtitles, and transcription work available. So if you go to about in the top right, go to freelancers, then you can see what they have that you can apply for. So obviously transcription work, I've explained, you turn audio into text. Uh, captioning, you basically add the text as it's being said in sync with a video. And with subtitles, you're pretty much doing the same thing as captioning, except you're translating to a different language um, on Rev. So uh, $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute for subtitling. 45 cents to 75 cents per audio or video minute on captioning and 36 to 65 cents per audio or video minute on transcription work. So uh, again, you can apply by going to the freelance section and click the button that says learn more next to the specific one that you want to apply for. They each have a specific button next to them. So it's a great uh, online job that you can do with a lot of flexible hours. So if you want more work from home jobs like this, check that playlist right there in the top right. Um, and that will take you to more videos like this one where I show you a lot of websites that pay you to uh, work from home and uh, do all sorts of different types of things, whether it's typing or writing or data entry or, uh, you know, editing of some sort, whatever it is, there's all sorts of different websites I've covered. So I have that there in that playlist for you. Other than that, hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.